Hello everyone. Welcome to the presentation. Today we are going to discuss about dioxic growth. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and click on the bell icon to get notified. The bacterial growth curve involves four different stages. The lag phase, exponential phase, stationary phase and the death phase. When we inoculate bacterial stock to a media this initially the growth proceeds very slowly so this stage is called as the lag phase once this lag stage is crossed there is a exponential growth of the bacterial cells that is called as the exponential phase because in the, in the, in the lag phase bacteria gets adapted to the new media so that's why uh, the, there is a delay in the growth so once that stage is crossed once that is adapted so it has all the nutrients available in the media and it start growth in an exponential manner once the exponential growth has reached peaked out it will enter into stationary phase where there, there the nutrients all are utilized by the bacterial cells and there is no much nutrients available in the uh, media and the toxic products produced are accumulating in the media so this will reach a stationary phase when, after the stationary phase this enters into a death phase bacterial cells enters death phase so that is a typical uh, growth curve of uh, bacteria so it proceeds from lag phase to exponential phase then to stationary phase and then death phase so what is dioxic growth curve so when a bacteria is grown on a media containing both glucose and lactose we we will observe dioxic growth curve so initially there will be a lag phase and it enters the exponential phase so during the exponential phase all the carbon source so for you know, bacteria E. coli, the preferred source of carbon is glucose. Even though lactose is present, that will not be utilized. So glucose is the preferred source of uh, uh, carb uh, carbon uh, carbon source for E. coli. So the carbon source you know, glucose is utilized initially. If you have, if you remember the earlier video about the lactoprotein regulation, you will understand why it prefers glucose rather than lactose so once the uh, glucose is completely utilized the bacterial cells prepares the machinery or the enzymes required for metabolizing lactose so that's why there is a lag phase after the exponential phase in the dioxic growth curve so once the uh, once all the enzymes are required for the lactose is prepared or the lactoprotein is turned on then it again enters a exponential phase so the initial exponential phase is the glucose utilization phase then again it enters a lag phase that is for the preparatory phase it is also called as a preparatory phase for generating the enzymes required for metabolizing lactose and once the enzymes are ready then it will start utilizing the lactose and it proceeds exponentially so that is the difference between regular growth curve and the dioxic growth curve this is also known as a biphasic growth curve because there are two lag phase involved in the growth curve when it is grown on glucose as well as lactose media hope you are clear with this topic if you like the video click the like button and share it with your friends thank you